This is the solution to written homework 48. Okay, sign chart. Fine. So the first step in the sign chart method is natural domain. So that's a polynomial, that's a polynomial, and that's a constant. And nothing can go wrong evaluating any of those. So the natural domain is all x. Two, we want to zero and simplify. So x squared, that's factored out. That's as good as it gets. And can we factor this? So can we think of two numbers whose product is positive 18 and whose sum is negative 9? Yeah, sure. How about... Uh, x minus 3 times x minus 6 greater than 0. Okay, well, that's it. One side is already 0, and that's as factored as it gets. So now 3. Now we want to solve the corresponding equation. That is, we want to solve x squared times x minus 3 times x minus 6 equal 0. The solution is x equal to 0, x equal to 3, x equal to 6. Four. Sign chart. There were no breaks in the natural domain, so none of those need to be plotted, but there were three solutions. <coughs> they were 0, 3, and 6. So some test points could be negative 1, 2, 4, Seven. Now we're going to take those <coughs> test points. We're going to plug them into that. And check for sign. So if we plug in negative one, that would be negative and then squared and plug in negative one there, that would be negative and then negative. So if we plug in two, that would be positive squared and then negative and then negative. If we plug in four, that would be positive squared and then positive and then negative. If we plug in 7, that would be positive squared, and then positive, and then positive. So the overall sign is positive, positive, negative, positive. So now we're in position to make a conclusion. So on this exercise, we want positive regions. The reason we want the positive regions is because of that. So there are three positive regions, and we do not want any of the endpoints because it says greater than, uh, not greater or equal. So if, for example, if we plugged in zero, that inequality would read zero greater than zero, which is false. Okay, so then the answer is 
negative infinity to 0, union, 0 to 3, union, 6 to infinity. So that's the answer to the question. Uh, but, as a matter of just foreshadowing, Soon, we'll be able to think about such inequalities in the following kind of way. So here is 0 and 3 and 6. And this particular expression, that particular expression, the plot will look like this. So, what I want you to observe is that in each of the regions, the function is above, so that gets plus. Here it's above, that gets plus. Here it's below, so that gets minus. And here it's above, so that gets plus. And notice that's exactly what the sign chart says.